what measures did you take to deal with your heartbreak i just let myself be of course a heartbreak is not easy i've seen a tiktok video addressing you addressing you saying you guys were cloud chasing oh really then we've been cloud chasing for eight months <laughs> You meant who leaked your news and did you take any action? How you managed to get through it? Hi guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel again. If you are a new subscriber, make sure you subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for always being here. So I think sometime last week I I asked you guys on my Instagram uh on a QA of what you'd love to know about me because I think you guys don't know a lot and I feel like you should because you've been part of my journey. Yeah, so I I did screenshot some of the questions and we're going to start with hey Namonia Liandika Wakwanza Lianza na pace what measures did you take to deal with your heartbreak what measures i feel like in a heartbreak sometimes okay let me just talk for myself in my heartbreak i had no measures i just let myself be of course a heartbreak is not easy mtu asiwe kudanganya ati uta heartbreak wa leo kesho u heal uta heartbreak wa leo u heal in one month ukumbuke tena in one week <laughs> uhil uh, uh, tena in one week i love like that recaps it keeps going and getting back so since the catch and somebody did this and this and this but all i knew was i needed to let myself feel the heart for me to heal from the heart <laughs> do you still love tyler <laughs> yeah of course i still care about him and i still love him but not in like a romantic way we shared so much we fell in love when we were young and he'll always have a place in my heart <laughs> you say that you broke up with your baby daddy i've seen a tiktok video addressing you addressing you saying you guys were cloud chasing oh really then we've been cloud chasing for eight months <laughs> No we were not we broke up and that is the truth we never we've never cloud chased in our 3 years relationship why would we cloud chase now that we broke up it was real we broke up and you guys have to decide whether you want to move on or whether you don't have to move on because as for us we accepted we moved on and i don't understand why people keep saying we are cloud chasing but anyway i understand you are part of our relationship <laughs> and we made you guys part of the relationship how do you do it all cuz wow one thing about me i'm always going to choose me and whatever makes me happy like i have a tattoo over here written i choose happiness and this tattoo has been here even before i became an influencer so i'll always choose me that is how i do it all if Whatever gives me peace is choosing me then I'll choose me. What's your status currently? Single and not looking for a relationship. I don't I hate the way you people like everything in my life say I'm in revolve around relationships. Nikionekana tu na mtu ni relationship it does not even make sense like when he says it, i'm still 22 i got into a relationship when i was young when he says it, to single hanging out with my friends without what, wanting a relationship anyway single and not looking for a relationship what's your biggest nightmare so fine life my biggest nightmare is failing my daughter failing myself you see before i got a child i was just living but after i got a child i'm so scared of not giving her i'm so scared of not giving her the life that when i was a child i dreamt of giving my child 
and also like dying is one of my biggest fear because nakufa ni achemp twangu na nani in this dangerous world so my nightmare is failing in life and losing my life um not a question but i love your bikinis thank you who liked your oh i think who you meant who leaked your news and did you take any action and how how you managed to get through it uh, i don't think i'm in a comfortable space of saying who because probably that is what he wanted for me to go and rant and say oh it is this person i don't think i'm in a i don't think i'm ready to say who but how you managed to get through it first of all the craziest thing is i knew I knew for three years from he started threatening me in 2020 when I just when we just exposed our relationship with Tyler I take Kumaliza like two days and at that point I was so scared nilikuwa na deactivate accounts na zirudisha I would cry I felt like my life was over so in the span of three years I had already accepted and like by the same in a happen you can't accept and Taylor used to tell me it will happen one day whether ni leo whether ni kesho whether ni next week whether ni in one years when whether ni in 10 years just be sure it will one day come to happen so you like kwa stick in my mind hata nifanye nini hata nimfanye nimtumie pesa ngapi ama nifanye ni he'll still lick them so i was ready about it and when i found out the person i did not even find out myself the person who found out was him and then now he came to me and he was like i need to talk to you and i was like he looks like kuna kitu mbaya of course you can tell so i can be to the rooftop juu tulikuwa kwa nyumba and we go to the rooftop and he sat me down he's like i'm going to be there for you at that time my grandmother was in the hospital so i'm like hey queeni to me i thought it was death I thought one of my close persons in my life had passed away. So I'm like, "Hey, okay, what is not happening?" And then now he told me and for a moment my heart beat. But don't forget I had accepted. So what I was dealing with at that time, me like when she accepted it could just happen. So what I was dealing with was what other people were saying and I was protected from what other people were saying completely because my mom was supportive i called my mom didn't know about it for the three years but i called her and i told her this and this has happened that is before the story like blows up julie blow up a little bit much later so i called her and i told her and as long as tyler was there for me my mom was also there for me my close family was also there for me my close friends was, were also there for me I think I was safe like nilikuwa at a point where I feel like I had people who love me and the people that knew the whole story were there for me so it didn't matter How can you say about postpartum depression Postpartum depression is real I did go through it and I pray for anyone out there that is going through it and I pray that you find yourself back soon Did that Uh mm-hmm. most of these questions ni repeated <laughs> Can I get to meet you I'm a huge fan of yours inshallah in God's timing How did you deal with your separation with Tyler especially being a social media power couple and how is motherhood Like I say <laughs> like I said how I dealt with with my separation with Tyler was ac- accepting i think accepting is the start of everything ukisha accept ni life it was meant to be like this and there's nothing you can do about it it's easy for you to move acceptance is the beginning of everything so i accepted and being a social media power couple of course it was scary because like people were looking up to us and Not everyone will understand but at the end of the day I was like as long as we both know this is what is good for us what they think does not really matter so yes mhm not a question your daughter is adorable thank you thank you so much 
not a question, but I'm really proud of you. I love you. I'd love to meet you someday. Amen. Do you regret parting ways with baby daddy? No. No, 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 not at all. I think it was the best decision we'd have both made. Mm -hmm. Most of the questions are so repeated. How did you deal with your mental health? My mental health was so bad that sometimes I look back and I'm like, hey, who was that girl? Because my mental health was bad right now. I'm at a, I'm getting there. Of course, I'm not there yet, but I'm at a very good place in my life. Like Nicole place in the same. Oh, I love, I love, I love. Not, I wouldn't compare Penny Nico and Penny Nikoa. Will you consider dating again or setting for love? In, set, I think you meant settling for love in a serious way. Yeah, I will, but not at the moment. That is what I'd say. Like, I will consider, but not at the moment. I don't want to take my trauma to someone else. How do you balance Sherehe na Mtoi? One funny thing people don't know about me, and it sometimes gets crazy, is the fact that I don't even go out on weekdays like I don't. You'll never find me out on a weekday, unless I've traveled or something. But at mimi niko tu kwa nyumba ni amke, weekday ni toke, never. Wacha tu ni lale. So I think that also helps me, and I rarely sleep outside my house. If... I sleep outside my house, it's at my best friend's place and then like I rarely so I don't I don't even find it like a big deal, but I understand that some people that is sensitive to them, but to me it's not. Mm, are you ever considering further education, tertiary level? Yeah, I would consider. I mean education education is important. I feel like education you could idea sana brain wise kama when you lingia high school na when you talk a high school see the same when you lingia campus na when you like there's a part of education that can help you atakama si going to get jobs it can help you pevusha your mind like ineza kusaidia to grow in certain ways because you're interacting with people from different cultures different places so yeah i would consider What's your body weight right now? 48. But I've always been like this. So it's not like I find people saying, oh, you've lost so much weight. What is going on with that in your life? I have always been like this ever since I was like in high school. How were you able to get yourself back together? I don't know. The fact that I had a daughter helped me a lot because I was like, there's no way I'm failing my daughter. You need to bounce back. Whether you love it or not, you need to bounce back. So I just allowed myself to feel things, to not be, hap not be happy at that time, but to understand that I also have someone that depends on me fully. So I think, I think my daughter played a major role of me getting myself back. Why do you still have your pics with him on Instagram? Why, why would I delete them? See, that was part of our life, like... I don't find it like a big deal personally. Ulitoa no string for good. Ili toka na venu chungu kurudisha but ndo irudisha tu. Tell us how you manage as a single mom cuz for me I'm always breaking down I never want at this. Of course nobody wants to raise a child in a in two different homes but sometimes two homes are better than one. Like, the moment I accepted, that was my biggest fear, funny thing, like, that was my biggest, biggest fear. Not, my child not growing up in a family field, but when I accepted that sometimes two, play, two homes are better than one, instead of her seeing the, not seeing the love that, because ukitaka mtu wako grow kwa family, utakanga agro up akiona the love what you guys share and everything. So sometimes kama ina grow out of toxicity, ama ana grow up akiona something toxic, it's not worth it. What would you tell your younger self right now if you could meet her? I tell her I'm proud of her. I'm proud of 
how she's handled things i'm proud of how strong she's grown and i pray she gets stronger how how are you feeling now i mean you yourself you as a whole this year right now i'm feeling way 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 much better way way much better i'm so proud of myself i'm happy that i'm here i'm happy that i've found myself back are you dating mr seed <laughs> No, like I was just a part of his project. I was just a vixen in his song. Hey, Lianga Biashare Wata seriously bana. What wa tapanya biashare rukunje. I was just a vixen is in one of his songs, which is like a very, very nice song. So make sure you go watch it. How do you cope with those emotions and feelings? Accept I think accepting is my biggest strength. I'm a very good acceptor. If once you accept everything the healing follows so accepting mm -hmm. when did pregnancy start to show signs and did you have mood swings yes i had mood swings i think my tummy by one month was showing because like i'm tiny so you not deleted your photos with tyler could there be any chance of you guys getting back together I said I've not deleted them because I think that he was part of my journey so why would I delete the photos that is part of my I've never if you go through my Instagram page I have photos from 2017 or 2018 so why would I delete his pictures and chances of getting back together I don't think so but anyway you just never know what life holds but I don't think so which year were you mentally broken down? Hey, this year, Bana. I, I just love you. I look up to you, my role model. Thank you. <laughs> but naku role model na nini wala sama mini bad influence uku inje. How is co-parenting? Or ulichkwam to you raise alone? No, we are co-parenting. He's a very good dad. He's a present dad. And he spends time with his daughter, like they they have their own time. And no, I'm not raising the child alone. He's there. He's a present dad. Uh, that's why I, I always tell people, I'm not a single mom. I'm a single person. My daughter has a father banner. <laughs> I'm the one who is single. My daughter has her dad. Are you and Tyler friends? Am I you hate each other? No, we don't hate each other. And of course, co-parenting comes now a lot because bitterness is there at the beginning. But as you grow, you heal and the bitterness stops. But he's one person I care about like a lot, a lot, a lot. So I know we don't hate each other. How did you bounce back to your body size after having your baby? I've always been a tiny girl, like always. Something you can't live without. Something I can't live without. Eh? Some, some, or oh, not someone, something, something. I think my phone. I can't live without my phone. I can't. Does Tyler provide for his child? Yes, he does. Biggest, biggest regret in life. not choosing me sometimes like i think you should always choose yourself because it's you against you will you do more vlogs on youtube yeah 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 be ready of more more and more vlogs might actually even consider co-parenting vlogs How do you feel whenever you meet Tyler since you two are no longer together? I feel happy. I'm thankful for him. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be me right now. Like he also pl played a part of Georgina. So I feel thankful. I feel proud. And I, I just thank God that even after our separation, we're still mature about how things happened. Yeah, I think this is the last page ever had sex after your breakup a mbona mnachunguza hivyo ngoseli bet 
is there any i don't think there's anything else that have oh there's this one will you give 10 men chances or give one man 10 chances mbona is so difficult to answer because i believe in second chances i believe in third chances but i also don't believe in kubebo fala <laughs> so i'd give a man a few chances but if you don't change then i'd rather just leave you alone kunengine how's astra astra is good she's growing she's walking She's calling me mama. <laughs> She's a big baby. She's a mama's girl. I don't think there's anything else I've not answered. What is the main reason for you guys breaking up? I don't think there was any main reason. Kuna vitu tu mingi zilikuwa zime pile up by the time we were breaking up. Like, see at the end of the villain mindo the victim mama said to mindo the victim mindo the villain a lot of things had just happened from both sides so there's no me i can't sit down and say into the main reason there are a lot of piled things leading to other 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 things yeah and i think that is the end of this video kuna mtu ali ali sema party Unatudanganya? Hakuna kitu hata utajibu. Utatuambia tu I'm not comfortable answering that question. I don't think there is any question I've said I'm not comfortable answering. Anyway guys, thank you for watching my video. Make sure you subscribe. See you next time. Bye guys.